Hi to all my viewers, subscribers. Again, welcome to my channel, Life's Journey After 50. Uh, today, I will uh, discuss the visa. It's a retiree visa here in the Philippines. And uh, as um, it's not only uh, it doesn't apply only for the seniors, but it has different cate categories. Okay, and um, Philippines is uh, now among the world's top retirement destination. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is this SRRB visa? SRRB is a special resident retiree visa. It is a special non-immigrant visa for foreign retirees who would like to make the Philippines their second home or investment destinations. There are benefits. There are also uh, four types or classifications and the qualifications and the basic requirements i will discuss it part by part because uh, it's a uh, also a very long topic okay as uh, as i said a while ago srrb visa it stands for special resident retiree visa what are the benefits of this visa first you can stay here indefinite and with mod multiple entry and exit privileges and then the second benefit is that exemption from the philippine bureau of immigration acr1 card and annual report and then also exemption from the custom duties and taxes for one time, importation of household goods and personal effects worth up to $7,000. It's tax from pensions and annuities. Also, the other benefit is that you are exempted from travel tax if the retiree has not stayed in the Philippines for more than a year from the last date of entry. And then, oh, also, another exemption is a student visa and a study permit if you're a retiree or you're an SRRB visa. And now, uh, we go to the different types or the classifications of the SRRB visa. And the qualification or the different options of the corresponding uh, requirements to be qualified for it. Oh, wait. There's uh, another, uh, go back to the benefits of the SRRB visa, okay? There's another benefits or privileges when you under the SRRB visa. Uh, you are the access to grid and assist program at selected Philippine Air Force. Uh, you will be assisted. There's a special lane for the SRRV uh, visa. And then also there is a pre-subscription to the PRA newsletter. As I told you, the PRA stands for Philippine Retirement Authority. And then also, uh, when you're on an SRRV visa, you're entitled to fill health benefits and privileges. The pill health is like a health care or it's a health insurance. It's a public or uh, it's a government insurance. And then once you have this card, you can, once you are confined in the hospital or admitted, there's a certain percent that will be deducted on your bill. Okay, but the pill health can, cannot use that if you are not confined. You cannot use that for a uh, uh, discount for medicine for the doctor's fee. Okay. What are the types of SRRB visa? We have the four classification. Actually, it's four. And, but because there's another one, uh, 
under the fourth category so all in all there are five options first you have the srrv smile the second is the srrv classic the third is the srrv human touch and the fourth is the srrv courtesy and under it is the srrv expanded courtesy or program uh, this uh, classifications depends on the age of the applicants and its classification has its uh, oh, what do you call it? it has different uh, requirements before you can have the uh, SRRB visa and then uh, what are the qualifications to be entitled or the qualification before you can have the SRRB visa here in the Philippines first for the principal applicant he must be foreign national or formerly Filipino citizen who are at least 35 years old so it's not uh, if you are a former Filipino and then uh, you are naturalized in other country then you can also apply for this uh, visa and uh, you will not lose your citizenship if you are a US citizen you're a citizen from Australia and other other countries in the world and then if you're a Filipino and then you have your citizenship uh, changed uh, into other uh, in the country where you are in then uh, you're also you can also apply uh, for SRRB visa and then uh, your dependents uh, can also have the is also entitled to have the SRRB visa and as I told you what thing that is good in this kind of visa is that you will not be losing your citizenship you will still retain your citizenship and for dependents of course the dependents are the spouse or the wife or the husband and then your children the spouse must be legally married to the principal retiree before he or she will be entitled or qualified as a dependent and the children they must be legitimate or legally adapted by the principal retiree must be unmarried and below 25 years old upon joining the program okay and uh, again uh, this is the actually this is just a uh, actually part one of the this uh, topic because the one that I posted before or uploaded video is an interview of a US citizen who uh, had a SRRB visa here in the Philippines and the uh, discussion of this one is a uh, the part one of the discussion of this SRRB visa again thank you for watching please like share subscribe and feel free to comment also give your comment and uh, for uh, notification please tap the bell so whenever I have a new video then you will be uh, you will be uh, notified okay again thank you for watching and see you again on the, my next video. Bye-bye.